I'm Zorin Shah in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is caucus day out here. This is the third state to go. 36 delegates up for grabs. Now, we still don't have the official results from this caucus, but it doesn't matter for the president. He is already weighing in. He just tweeted calling, saying that Bernie Sanders did well, saying that Biden was weak, and saying that Bloomberg would not be able to restart his campaign after that last debate. Now, we are at Joe Biden's headquarters where the people here, they would, would say uh, quite differently that Biden, they feel very strongly about him. Everyone here, of course, say that they, they caucus for him or they early voted for him. But the man with the momentum tonight is, of course, Bernie Sanders so far. We have Rick Klein in D.C. with some of those numbers. Rick, what are you seeing there? Yeah, Zoreen, we've got about 10% of precincts that have come in so far, and you're beginning to see uh, Bernie Sanders open up a, a, a sizable lead. Uh, we don't know how significant it's going to be. Uh, we don't have any projections to make at this time. But uh, critically here, you see those two different sets of numbers, Zoreen, on the screen. The first one is uh, the first alignment. That's what people say when they walk in the room. The second one is what happens after other candidates essentially drop out of the running. Uh, if you don't have 15 percent, the candidate doesn't get anything at all. And therefore, all the people that supported that individual get to move around. And you're seeing uh, Bernie Sanders uh, strengthen his numbers based on that. Uh, you see that final column is based on a different data set that's only a partial one. It's very small so far. That's official data from the state party. Uh, that really doesn't tell us much so far because it's so early in the night. Um, but what I would say was notable about that is that we're seeing anything at all because we remember well what happened in Iowa a few weeks back, Zoreen, when the state party had nothing to put out for the entire evening and had to just put goose eggs, a bunch of zeros, for, the, for all night. Uh, so the idea that some information is coming out is viewed as a positive sign. A bunch of campaigns are still concerned that it's been too slow. Uh, but again, all indications are that uh, this will be a very big night for Bernie Sanders. Uh, that would be the third straight contest where he wins the popular vote if he's able to hold on to the lead he's begun to amass, Orin. And Rick, we have Mary Alice over at the party headquarters. Mary Alice, I think people there are talking about that wide margin so far based on the numbers that we're seeing between Bernie Sanders and everyone else. And of course, we don't have the final results yet, but what are people saying out there? Yeah, the campaigns are already starting to spin the possibility of second place. They know that a second place headline under Bernie Sanders could be really big going into Super Tuesday, especially if so many candidates stay in the race. With no candidate able to break 50 percent, that number two slot just becomes so important. So I'm going to be watching, obviously, who comes in second. But what that margin is, if Bernie Sanders is able to run away with this, if we're looking at something like a double digit win here in Nevada, it's much harder to spin the positivity of a second place finish. But if someone is able to crouch up and, and say that they did pretty well next to Bernie Sanders, that might be the kind of story that could really help them, Zoreen, going into Super Tuesday. And that's Deputy Political Director Mary Alice Parks. We are over here at Biden's headquarters where people are getting really rowdy. Despite the fact that the numbers currently are not showing uh, that Biden is in the lead, they are pumped here. We see a lot of people back here dancing, really excited. Biden is expected to take the stage in the next half an hour or so. We know he wanted a top two finish, so we'll see what he says on stage. Reporting for ABC News Live, I'm Doreen Shah. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.